Five gas heating parts that need maintenance. What kind of maintenance? What happens when you don't maintain these parts? If you're a technician and you've had this experience in the field with one of these five parts that are my most common gas heating parts that you find on furnaces or package units, let me know what you found to be the problem. Let me know what you do. Comment below so that those out there that want to be technicians have a better experience. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. Today we're covering the five most common parts. I'm Tad, let's get started. These are the five most common parts. We have the burners, the orifices, the flame sensors, the pressure switch, and the inducer motor. We're gonna go over the first part here. This is two different types of burners. This is commonly found on American Standard, and this is commonly found on a carrier unit. And this side of the burner here, you can see there is a track. And this is basically the flame carryover track. And when you have these burners next to each other, the flame travels from here to the next burner. And when you do not maintenance this part, which is you take a steel brush or a sandpaper and you brush this area right here, whenever you don't maintain it, you'll see that the flame will only light on one burner or maybe only on two burners but it will not travel to the third burner. It will not travel to the second burner. So you need to maintain this part. And this is a common part that I find in the field that needs maintenance. And it just, it, it becomes rusty. And when it does that, then the flame does not travel across. So you gotta make sure you clean this with some sandpaper, with a steel brush. Let me know what you do. Second part, orifices. You have natural gas orifices. You have propane orifices. Here's a few different types of orifices. And this right here is a pilot tube assembly. And in this pilot tube assembly, you have an orifice and it's right here. And what you can have happen, which I'm gonna to try to see if you can see that, see those two little tiny holes? What can happen is those two little tiny holes can get stopped up. Now this is a gas valve that has a pilot tube and it has a pilot tube assembly. And what you'll find is that there will be gas coming out of this port here and going through the tube, but you will have no lighting action. You'll have no flame on the other end. And that is because the orifice is stopped up. Now, these burners have orifices, right? And they're lined up like this right here. And what you'll have happen is you'll have cobwebs inside of this orifice, okay? And you have to be able to take this off and then clean this orifice out. Uh, you can use anything that you can find that will fit in there. But spiders will build webs in here. And what I'll have is I will have the flame not light. And that is because, well, our gas valve is opening. We've checked the inlet pressure. We've got pressure. We've checked the outlet pressure. We've got pressure going out. But we're not getting through the orifice. So orifices, they need maintenance. And there are orifices inside of the pilot tube assembly. So burners, number one. We've got orifices, number two. Number three, flame sensors. Flame sensor or a thermocouple, they need to have maintenance. And what you want to do is you want to get some sandpaper and other technicians. They have other ways of cleaning this with some type of cloth other than sandpaper because they may say it's too abrasive. Let me know in the comments what you're doing, guys. But this right here will become rusted. It'll have just some type of black or rusty soot on it and it keeps the flame from staying lit. So typically flame sensors over here on the other side of this burner and we've got the igniter right here. Igniter lights, the burner travels the flame across and if the flame sensor's dirty, then it won't keep the flame lit. So the flame will go out, all right. So we went over burners, we went over the orifices, we went over the flame sensor or flame rod or thermocouple. Thermocouples you usually find on older hanging heaters or gas fireplaces. Thermocouples you can clean them the same way that you clean a flame sensor with, with some sandpaper or replace them. So now pressure switches. Pressure switches don't necessarily have to have maintenance, but the tube that leads to the pressure switch and also where that pressure switch tube goes to the port on usually an inducer assembly. You have to clean out that port, you have to clean out the tube. That is the fourth part. Now, fifth part is the inducer assembly. 
replaced 50, sometimes 100 of these, especially when you first go into the winter season. And what happens is dirt daubers. Dirt daubers will make nest inside and they can actually stop the wheel from turning. So if you've ever went to a call and the inducer motor is not running and you spin the wheel a little bit and it, you hear something break up inside of this assembly, it's possibly a dirt dauber nest. And that is the five most common parts that need maintenance. Hope you enjoyed today's video about the five most common parts that need maintenance. If you've got information that can help somebody down in the comments, like what type of maintenance, what type of other parts that you can think of, definitely comment below. Let me know. If you got a question, leave that in the comment. Questions can become content. If you don't have a question, let me know who you are. Let me know where you're from. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I am Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.